Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. It's Tuscany versus the world. Uh, the Coalition can go to hell, I don't care. Um, we're gonna hopefully take Friuli here. And then we'll probably move into their capital since we've exiled their army. We've won the Siege of Zurich, good. Means that this army can get ready to come help out. We actually have quite a bit of manpower, doing okay. And we've won the Siege of Friuli and we've won the Siege of Waldstadt. Okay. You should be totally fine to go kill this. Despite the three penalty, it's just a very small army. We've won the Siege of Piedmont. Great. Let's go for Venezia. That way we can blow up their navy. France is the papal controller. Oh my god. That's not a good sign. So our artillery needs time to recover. And I think Venice is gunning for one of my stacks over there. I want to kill their navy. Yeah, I know what you're up to. I can see your black intentions. <laughs> That's what my wife says all the time. It's like a cultural thing or something. Apparently down in Colombia that's just a way that you say it in Spanish. I can see your black intentions. It's weird. We want another siege. Good. Um, let's go to Brescia. Good and good. Yep. So 100% occupation of Switzerland. That's why you shouldn't be in the coalition. Just so you know Switzerland. You're supposed to stay out of wars. That's your deal if you don't remember. And they've given up their Siege of Treviso. I have no more artillery to offer here. This is building up. We almost have enough for four bonus. Another, another 1,300. Ah, oh, crap. Did I just give up a, a Breach Walls bonus? Uh, importing iron? No, we need to rely on our own resources, as always. Let's, uh, let's grab the infantry and the cavalry and send them forward so we suffer a tiny bit less attrition. Just trying to make sure that we don't lose anything. We'll, we can put all these men here though now since we occupy that land. We won the Siege of Calabria, great. And apparently Naples wants to come over here. We've got a 0-2 commander. We'll finish sieging those two things and then go fight their army. Here comes the naval battle. Take Treviso. Yeah, that's a pretty good mission. I think we're going to do that. Okay, Venice. Goodbye, Navy. We're going to lose a few ships, but they're going to lose a lot more. Yeah, I lost six light ships. I'm, I'm about to replace them with Diplotech 9 anyway. They lost a ton more. And we also picked up some, some naval tradition. It's all good. It's good for us. Bad for them. Okay, so with 46% war score, Hungary is down to low enthusiasm because they've got revolts. Let's separate piece them. Do we want to separate piece them? Any reason to piece them out? Not really, I guess. They're not causing any problems for me. So the coalition members, Naples, Savoy, Switzerland, and Venice, I can't negotiate separately with. And what I want is going to be expensive. I want Savoy to become our vassal. It's only 23 war score, okay? That works. And the reason I want to do that is I want to feed cores back to Savoy so I don't have to pay admin points, which is still less expensive than... I mean, it's, just, it's close, you know? I mean, if you really break it down, the base cost for a province to core is 20 admin points per base tax. If you have a claim, it reduces the cost by 25%, which takes your cost down to 15 the cost if you use diplomatic annexation is 15 diplo points. So if you're if you're coring lands with claims, it's basically 15 admin points versus 15 diplo points. So which one do you have the abundance of? So it's about equal now. I can see why they chose 15. But we're going to become Italian ambition, so we'll end up having an extra 25% reduction. So eventually just direct conquest will make sense. But I don't know. It's easier to return cores. So that's what we want, and then we want Treviso. And if possible, we want to make 
We want to make Naples into a vassal too, but I don't think that's going to happen. No, I think we just go for this. I can't take their capital because of border stuff. Free Yuli. I have no claim to, right? No, I think I just take that one. Do you have money, Venice? No. This sounds pretty good, actually. We'll just do this. In five years, I can declare war in Naples, and hopefully we can make France and Castile fight each other. We'll have Savoy as a vassal. There's nothing I want from Switzerland. Sounds fine. Okay, so we protect trade in Genoa again. Get our whole army up. And go back to LaGuardia. Split. Put half of it over there. Put our other commander back in charge. Oh, sweet. More mercantilism. Every so often, merchants of different ideas in regards to trade would clash. I mean, we're picking up some good mercantilism here. We're at 24%. 48% increased provincial trade power modifier. Another 2.5. Damn straight. Venice is no longer a valid rival. That's fine. We picked up the power projection for declaring on them and then for also taking more provinces from them. So now we're going to rock 1.5% Republican tradition for a while. And we get the bonuses of 100 power projection. 20% global trade power, 10% morale, 10% fort defense. It's, it's sick. It's good stuff. Admin Tech 9. Um, we need to core stuff first. Just one province, I think it was. Yeah. I'm just going to pay for it. Never have too much manpower. They are still at war. The armies of Castile are 24,000 strong now, and France is 32. They still have tons of manpower. So it looks like they're coming back. Austria is down to 15. Yeah, looks like they're going to actually win. We do need to to make them fight each other. If they were, if it was either one of them versus that little coalition force, they would have lost. But them, those two together. It's just too much. Um, do, do, do one more tech level. We can build ships. Let's build some some stuff. I need to build the trade depot in LaGuardia. I really want Venezia. We did build one dock. I could upgrade it to a dry dock so we have even better repair times. Really, the, the motivation would be the the shipyard, naval force limit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to spend Diplo points on buildings. Not when we're trying to get to the next tech level so that we can build new ships. I think we hold off on buildings. We just sort of stockpile a little bit of money for a bit. It's just detach damage so that they can get back to work. So we're making five ducats a month right now. Now 11. Revolt risk is really only an issue in the lands that we've conquered. End of religious turmoil. Our country is now recovered from the disastrous fractions of religious turmoil and are now together in one piece. So they are apparently sticking with Protestant. I don't know. France is still at war, but it's now at 2%. They were at 1% for a while, so they're finally starting to edge their way back. I'm guessing what's happened is that they've capped out their war score from occupating... Occupating? No. Occupying the war goal. And then they had lost a bunch of battles, and now they're finally starting to pick up some, some one battles. We can actually see the actual war score, can't we? Attacker against... Oh, well, they're not the war leader, that's why. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Never mind, it's actually 66%. Yeah, Castile and France are kicking butt.
Military Tech 9. I think we maybe finish off this idea group first. Grand Army, Discipline, Forced March. All very good. This will just continue to get less and less expensive. 298 points. How much longer do we have that 10% modifier, though? 15, 12. Three more years, so I should probably take advantage of it. Why are you giving me all level 3 guys? Level 2 and 3. Yeah, let's just take one. We'll, we'll knock one out. Since we have it. And the extra, the better infantry would be nice. We'll take the... That's what? One, two, three, four, five pips? Five pips. Five pips. So it's five pips across the board. Um, I guess I prefer the... Slightly more... Defensive ones-ish. I don't know. They all seem pretty good. Come on, unlawful territory. It's time for you to go away. July 31st. Great. Finally. Tax modifier will go up by 33%. Manpower will go up a ton. Revolt risk goes down, so... Yeah, it's a huge swing in income. In production and manpower. Surprised that he hasn't done unlawful territory on Treviso. It's part of the Empire, isn't it? It is. I guess he's a little bit busy. 50% uh, chance to lose stability or lose 5 prestige. Well, it's an easy choice. The game does throw some pretty silly decisions at you, like, would you like to lose stability or gain stability? Hmm. France has now announced England as the rival. Okay, that's our backup plan. Royal marriage from France will accept until they want to flip on us. Okay, they have just won their war. No, they've separate pieced. That's good. That means that they're a little bit less happy with each other. The Castilian opinion of France is minus 28 from separate piece. But they also have plus 18 fought to the end. How's that work? <laughs> a separate war, perhaps? Claim the ends? That's a little bit more military power, yeah. Easy decision. Uh, Savoy is our new vassal. We should probably improve relations with them. It's only 158 aggressive expansion. It's not a lot. Nothing to worry about. Hey, another active cardinal. <laughs> what is happening? Why am I getting cardinals? It's weird. Oh my god! What is happening? <laughs> I have two with three on deck. They keep being born from Italy. And because they own so much of Italy, they just, I have so many of them. It's just funny. It's like, what the hell? There's a pretty good chance that we might become the Curia controller. Even though I conquered Rome. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the Papal State. Still pretty mad at me. They want my provinces. Could improve relations with them if we wanted even more Papal influence. What's the Papal State's opinion of France? 36. Hmm. Alright, so let's see. Let's say that things get bad. Aragon no longer considered... <laughs> yeah. That was a bit optimistic, Aragon. If things get bad and we're at war with France, Lombardia is only... F it's plains. Liguaria is plains. We don't want to fight in these provinces. We need to expand into Savoy. It's like... Piedmont would be an excellent province to fortify. And I'm definitely going to want to build star forts along our borders here with France. Really, I want to build them with just along the whole 
the whole coast, the whole border. This whole area can be a little bit less defended, but... England has declared war on Wales? We're fine with that. I couldn't care less. Domestic trade power goes down for two years. Hmm. Some level one advisors would be nice. And we're still getting pretty good point generation with our rival, our power projection being high. Why is it saying I'm only embargoing two people? Am I only embargoing two people? I need to pick a new rival. Oh, crap. Hey, look at that. France's army and navy is only 5% stronger. For now. Out of curiosity. <laughs> If I were to declare war on France, um, well, we have no other allies, so there is no one else to join us. Number of great power allies for Castile wouldn't go away. If, yeah, I can't get an alliance with Castile. I could get an alliance pretty easily with England. Hmm. No, I think we just have to wait for the, the Naples thing. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. Next video, we just just hold the status status quo. Declare war on Naples. Get Castile called in. Um, France joins our war against Naples. They would totally join it if we didn't have the truce. And then, there we go. That's it. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.